this lesson recorded because this is a difficult I'm shut the door that's my son um this is a, this is a difficult topic so um uh it's gonna it's it's not and it's gonna be particularly difficult to do remotely so we're just gonna have to give it our best shot okay so it's going to be building on what we've done beforehand so we're still going to be building on that um simultaneous equations that we've done so um before we start i just want to go over again uh the best way to upload onto um onto onto um teams because lots of you are nearly there and lots some of you are exactly there but um one or two of you are still struggling a little bit and i think in a way the teachers have confused things because we keep going on about doing it through assignments and we're doing it through assignments which we are but from your point of view you don't need to go into assignments so when we've got a lesson coming up we are just basically creating an assignment and what that means is that when you go into class notebook so you go into class notebook and go into home, homework when i'm doing them when you go into homework because we've created an assignment there is a page waiting for you already so there are, you've seen this before this was casper's one all right so when casper clicked on homework there was a 10.1 page waiting for him for simultaneous equations you'll find now that if you were to look now there's already a 10.2 harder simultaneous equations page waiting for you okay so you click you so you click on homework then you click on simultaneous or whichever page you want so it was then simultaneous equations and then the page comes up and you click on that page now once you've clicked on that page you're going to be wanting to use the file and picture options but they don't work until you've you've opened a rectangle so you've got to click away on the actual sheet itself once or twice i forget if it's a double click or a single click but you've got to make sure you're not at the top you've got to be quite a way down sort of a bit lower down okay now once you've gone and opened up a box you will then find that the file and the picture options become available to you okay now if you're uploading a picture so you've just done it on your phone or something then you just literally click on picture and then it just asks you you've just got to navigate your way to where you've saved it and it will then upload the picture into that rectangle and if you've got more than one picture then you go and open up another rectangle by double clicking and just repeat the process if you however have scanned your work so you've created a word or a pdf document you're going to have to take this file option so you click on file but then please take the insert file printout option because that will then upload it as a picture and again once you've clicked insert file printout you'll then have to go through to where you've actually saved the saved your scan document that should then mean that whichever way you go that your work just gets saved into this box and then we can access that easily through teams draw all over it and it then it it ties in with the mark book it allows us to leave comments and so on so please can you just keep on trying to do that and so um so don't go and say straight into assignments now if the worst comes to the worst and you're still struggling just attach it and send it to me by way of an email or just through um just through posts okay i'm still i know fliss we're still struggling to get yours through and it's frustrating because you can see it at your end but it's not coming through at my end so you might have seen i've just suggested just in posts just go and attach it and then i'll just see if i can sort it out so going to have to keep on trying to get to grips with uh, how we can upload it most efficiently so today's lesson so we're just going to be taking the simultaneous equations questions a bit harder okay and this is the level we need to get at eventually okay uh, if we don't get to this level this time round particularly as we're doing it remotely that's not the end of the world so don't panic okay if you were getting to grips with those easier ones we did the last couple of lessons that's a good start and we can revisit this when we're either later this year when we're back at school in third form certainly we can revisit it again in fourth form so let's just take question 1 please we're just going to do this 
So you might want to copy this down because we're only going to do a couple of examples. So um, it's your choice. You can either copy this down now or you can just watch. I don't mind. OK, so we're going to do the question 3x plus 4y equals 20. And the second equation is 2x plus y equals 10. So I've just copied the question down here. Now, clearly the problem we have, we don't have the x's or the y's lined up already. And all the easier ones we've done, we've already had the same number of x's or the same number of y's. And then we've just had to make the decision whether to add or subtract the equations from each other. We've got to do more work now. We're going to have to do some work to line something up. So what I've done here in pink, I've just chosen to call this equation number one. So that's one with a circle around it. I've chosen to call this equation number two. It's got a two there. And the reason we do that is just to so we can make it clear what our workings are. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the second equation and do some multiplying so that I get four lots of y. OK. If I can get four lots of y on equation two, then clearly my y's will then line up. So I've gone and looked at them and said, right, one way I can line up one of the variables, I'm going to line up the y's is by taking equation two and multiplying every single bit of it, all three terms, everything that moves by four. Why have I chosen to multiply by four? Because I will then have four y and then I can do the taking away to get rid of the y's. I couldn't have really done that with the x's. I would have had to like multiply by one and a half, which is getting messy. So I'm focusing on the y's. So I've taken equation two, and I'm going to multiply each of the three terms by four. So that's why I've written it like this. I'm taking equation two, and I'm multiplying each. I'm going to multiply it by four. So here we go. 2x, multiplying that by four, we get 8x plus y multiplied by 4, we get plus 4y, and 10 multiplied by 4, we get 40. So we've just made equation number 2 four times as big. Now we've got 4y. So if we then go and bring down our equation number 1 below it, so our 3x plus 4y equaling 20, and that's why that number 1 is there, because I'm making it clear I've just brought down equation number one. We've now really made it like one of the simpler ones, okay? Our y's now line up. So we've just got to make a decision. Are we going to add these equations together or are we going to subtract them? Well, in order for the y's to disappear, we're going to have to subtract them. That's why I'm taking away. So 8x take away 3x is 5x. 4y take away 4y is a big fat nothing. That's the whole point. We wanted to eliminate one of the variables. And 40 take away 20 is 20. So 5x equals 20. Y is gone. So I want to know what x is, not what 5x is. So I'm going to choose to multiply, sorry, divide both sides by 5. So I get x equaling 4. So I've worked out one of the two variables. I've worked out x. Now, Ollie, I just m marked your prep. Thanks for getting that into me. And I know one or two of you, Fran and um, Mighty and Casper, I forget, were forgetting to work out the second variable. So that, that, that approach for these harder ones doesn't change at all. This bit's exactly the same. So all we do to work out the second one. So if we've worked out x, we've got to work out y. If we've worked out y, we've then got to work out x. So for step two, I've done it in green. So you go back to your starting point and you take either of the equations. It doesn't matter which one. I've chosen to take the 2x plus y equals 10 because it's a bit smaller. So here's my 2x plus y equaling 10. Well, I've just worked out that x is 4. So x is no longer unknown. I know that x is 4. So two lots of 4 is 8. So I've got 8 plus y equaling 10. So y equals 2. So x equals 4, y equals 2, my work is done. So that's question number one. I'm then just going to do question number two as well, and then I will leave you to it, OK? I will leave you to it. So for question number two, I've copied it down. I'm going to do this one a bit quicker, OK? 
as question number two. Equation number one, equation number two. So looking at it, again, it's going to be difficult to line up my x's, but it's going to be pretty easy to line up my y's if I decide to double the second equation. So I'm taking equation number two and I'm doubling it. I'm doubling it so I've got a 2y to line up with that 2y. So I double all the terms. I double the 4x, I double the y, I double the 11. 8x plus 2y equals 22. That's what I get when I double each of these. I've then brought down my equation number one and popped it underneath. And in order on this occasion to eliminate, I need to take away. I'm taking away again. It won't always be like this. You can see later on the questions five and six and seven and eight. I'm going to have to be adding. But the, the top row, we're going to be taking away each time. So anyway, I'm choosing to take away. 8x take away 5x is 3x. 2y take away 2y is nothing. 22 take away 16 is 6. So I'm left with 3x equals 6. So 3 lots of x equals 6. So divide both sides by 3. I get x equaling 2. So I've worked out one of them. I now need to work out the other one. So take either of the equations. I've taken the top one. 5x plus 2y equals 16. But we've now worked out that x is 2. So 5 lots of 2 is 10. 10 plus 2y equals 16. So take away 10 from both sides, 2y equals 6, divide by 2, so y equals 3. So there we go. That is the um, process, okay? Um, I'm sure you're going to find this difficult. I'm sure you will have to go back and play this video several times. Now, we've been chatting quite a long time. We've been chatting 15 minutes, okay, which is more than I would really want to do, but this is tricky. Um, we're going to have today's lesson and tomorrow's lesson. You are going to be working on these questions. So tomorrow's lesson, we will not be going live. OK, we will not be going live. OK, uh, I just want you to carry on with these questions here. I've uploaded these onto um, Teams. Uh, you can download that sheet that's in front of you off Show My Homework. You can download it off notes because I've already included it as an attachment on notes. To be perfectly honest, I think you could just literally copy the questions from here. There's no real need to download it unless you want to. OK, so I will make sure I'm online tomorrow during period three when we would be normally having a live lesson. I won't go live. I just want you carrying on with the questions. Obviously, you can get in touch with me. OK. And I, I, I will get back to you. So you can either get back in touch with me during the lesson or at any other time. OK, so that's it, folks. So I'm going to stop the video now. So your task is to try and spend 20 minutes, say, today, just having a go at, say, question three and four. And then tomorrow's lesson, having a go at a few more of them. OK, OK, guys, um, have a good weekend when the weekend comes around. I'll, obviously, I'll be around for tomorrow's lesson. But just to repeat, we won't be going live tomorrow.